morning everyone i think there's no landscape photographer or woodland photographer doesn't ask himself this question with which with uh, which i was asking today at the morning i was asking myself which is um, why should i go out and take photos and especially when we are uh, at the same time of the year or at the same season i mean you feel that you you are not inspired uh, um, enough to go out and you feel that you did take a lot of photos of this season and you don't feel you want to go out but i did it to today and i went out i'm going actually to old places old places which i uh, took photo of of them but not in autumn in summer or for example in winter today i said to myself after one week or two weeks we will not see any um, yellow leaf or any uh, any sign of autumn and <laughs> that's why I I started to push, my, push myself to go out because of that in winter I really don't know what I will take photos of especially when there's no snow you feel um, all, all the trees are dead and there's nothing to take photos of there's no leaves there's no yellow leaves, leaf, yellow leaves, there's no green leaves, there's nothing at all. So this was the first photo which you have uh, just seen as you saw. I made a horizontal and a vertical photo. I tried a lot of things and I liked these two photos and I am still not sure which one I would like more. Let's see if I can find something else in this area here. I'm trying to take a photo of this tree here but I don't want to make it only a photo of the tree you know I wanted to use I or I decided to use this uh, small bath it makes like a scare and it's leading to the to the tree and maybe I will use also this here like I will make it vertical vertical composition so this branch helps the eyes to stay in the photo and at the same time I have a leading lines to the tree so I will try it with the 50 millimeter lens and with polarizer obviously so I'm using this ring because my 50 millimeter lens is uh, smaller than my polarizer filter my uh, my 50 millimeter lens is 52 millimeters and my polarizer is 67 millimeter and that's why I can use it so easily it gives more solutions and more possibilities but whenever your lens is smaller than the filter you can get this one and it's very easy there's a lot of size and there's a lot of possibilities I'm really so glad that I did it today and I went out because uh, I'm coming to old places and to places that I know but the places look totally different and the colors are today the colors are amazing I'm really so so glad that I did it so I will show you what I am doing right now 
So I have a small tip for you. When I want to make a photo like this, when I want to make a panorama and for example three or four photos and the photos are not the same. Uh, I, I don't have the same light in all photos or the same exposure value I will say. And that's why when I want to value my exposure correctly I start from the must or the overexposed area. So as you can see right here I started with the photo from the top and I tried to take the photo. I made sure that my curve don't have any clipping here or I mean any overexposed area. So now I will go down and I will continue my panorama. So as you can see right here this is the first photo. I was focusing on the tree. The second one I went I went a little bit down. Uh, this is the third one. One eighth of the second F8 focusing on the tree. I don't think I need any exposure blend or something like that because it's dark and moody and moody. I am moody. <laughs> because it's cloudy and dark and there's no like very harsh lights and I don't know uh, I don't need any other exposure or for the foreground or for the bath I think only one exposure uh, good for the sky would be also good for the foreground I'm really so glad that I did it today and I went out I'm repeating it for the third time I think because I really didn't expect something like that the orange color is amazing I, I like I like this color a lot which is uh, the end of the autumn you see a lot of trees uh, look orange and not yellow and especially after uh, the rain uh, the whole day uh, I'm sorry the whole night uh, yesterday was raining and that's why the colors are so vibrant are, and uh, so, so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I hope that you subscribe. And see you next Sunday. Bye. So glad, sad. That a lot of and, 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 and without and.